So come on up and heckle me. Oh boy. Traffic is dead stopped. Hmm, I have to kind of go that way too. You at least have a work route. Well, so do you guys, but you just can't get off the bridge. You could go all the way through Purdy down through Olympia and get home if you needed to, but. Yeah, right? I guess everybody's going to Justin's house tonight. Nice, you'd be like, ah! Too many children! Brain does not compute. You may as well just hang out and drive the sim and drink whiskey. What? Please leave some of this for next week. That was a thousand dollars worth of fucking whiskey. Charles said traffic dead stopped on the bridge right now. How come how come it's not showing the traffic here? Uh you were right, the campfire is uh smoking. You don't say. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't correlate that like that would be the flavor profile. Whoa. I was like, oh I love high west. I love, yeah, I do too. And I made the same mistake <laughs> a couple years ago when I bought campfire looking for double rye i was like oh that's the only one we got high west is awesome i'll try that is it the, is the, the rendezvous that's really good uh rendezvous rye is good that's also really good i think i think we've had one here manthy less than dundon amen amen brother uh both on paper and in real life we have we we are spirited individuals, not corporation of 600 people, automaton, answer to Porsche. I will make your 4RS faster than a 3RS if it is possible to do so. Uh, Manti will not. Neither will SSR, because they all answer to the mothership. They're too close. We don't give a fuck. Well, we don't. Tell me I'm wrong. We don't. What the fuck are we doing to our cup car? Hi, let's... Uh, Bolt a bunch of parts on there. Let's get somebody to hack the CAN bus so that we can put our own ECU on it so that motorsports will never sell us parts again, but they still do, so that's good. Um, and uh, get another, what are we up to on that thing? Six, 560? What's the cup car at? 560? 550. 550, so almost 100 wheel horsepower over uh, peak and 120, 130 horsepower max. So... Hi, I'll tell her, I'll tell Charles hi. Tell Charles hi. There we go. Uh, uh, for your muffler, John. What's up, Christopher? How we doing? Rock on. Um, uh, we're in one last version. Well, hello, Mr. Ed Acid. How are you? You want your 991.1 or you don't have a 991.1. You have a 991.2. How much whiskey you been having so far, Ed? Mm. Yeah, as was the boys pick up from uh, the local liquor store last night. Um, this one, we'll talk about this one for a second. I had never heard of Redwood Empire. Um, it's uh, it's really quite nice. It's cask strength, so it's hot. Uh, nice rye spice right off uh, right off the bat as it hits you in the hits you in the tongue. Uh, white pepper and. Um, like cardamom and anise, it's lots of lots of high high note high palate spices. So that's really good. Uh, I am having some of the Mastersons, also quite nice, a bit more mellow. Um, and we'll work our way around. We got some that I know are delicious. I have not had the Widow Jane Decadence, um, ninety one proof. Ooh. Finished in maple syrup barrels? Holy shit. It's going to be like drinking dessert. That's literally going to be like drinking dessert. Um, Clayton, North Carolina. Mr. Brian Hardwick. He is having troubles installing something. Thank you, Ted, for getting that. Um, so, muffler. Uh, we scrapped the existing 3D printed design because it was just going to be too expensive in titanium. So, Charles pretty much peeled off the piece of paper piece peep of paper the peep of paper peep of paper. paper you like a carbon fiber carbon fiber crabs on fire um 
and uh, sketched up the new way that we're going to do it. All those parts are drawn, and we are going to double time it to try and get that all those parts here uh, should go quick. Being able to make it should go a lot faster. So um, uh, Justin and Solomon and Philip will not cry rivers when all those parts show up. They should, for the most part, assemble themselves, which would be great. And then we'll be able to uh, actually sell mufflers, not build mufflers that we install on cars and test them seemingly endlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm fine with to a point, but at some point you want to sell a motherfucker some shit. You don't want to keep testing shit and talking about it. You want to, you want to sell parts. So, good news is the uh, the things that made the current design muffler so powerful uh, will uh, continue. And you're making me dizzy, homie. <laughs> yeah, I was good. You're making me dizzy. No, I hit the wrong button. All right, all right. Um, and uh, it will continue to have copious amounts of power uh, in the mid-range. So, um, wanted to talk a little bit about Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday has started. Those of you who are in our, uh, our subscribers of Dunn Motorsports are in our insiders group. Uh, no, if you've been on our uh, social medias, you know. If you've been on our YouTube channel, you know. If you've been on our website, you know. So, um, Lots of folks have been waiting all year for our Black Friday sale. We have all of our carbon uh, stage two and up uh, aero products on sale, 15% off. We have our any street header system with a titanium muffler is 15% off. Um, our dive planes are all 15% off. And uh, Alex, our web uh master savvy uh programmer marketing man extraordinaire did this really cool graphic before black friday stock car after black friday full lab rat so y'all know you want the full lab rat and there there is an offer that i will make to any of y'all who want to take your your bone stock car and go full lab rat and that's 991.2 GT3 RS, 991.1 GT3 RS, uh, 992 GT3, 718 GT4, or 718 GT4 RS. If you buy all of the parts, send us your car. We'll install them all for free. You buy all the parts, we'll install them all up here for free. So that's literally like three to four days of installation. And depending on where you're at, uh, the... Shipping costs to us and back will be a half or a quarter of what the installation cost would be. So just throw that out there for all y'all. Um, don't kill me with it. Please don't uh, get me uh, um, uh, no good deed goes unpunished. And don't ask, well, if I buy just uh, if, if I drop link, buy drop links, can you um, pay to ship my car up there and install them? No, brother, you're not going to buy $400 worth of parts and then have me install shit. No, that's not going to happen. So. Look at it for what it is. If you're going to stare down forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of parts to completely transform your car, then the guys who designed them might know best how to install them. Just saying. Um, that said, uh, our dealer uh, WRT Will and his team have done a great job with uh, Mr. Amit Patel's 992 GT3. Uh, they Amit has full. Lab rat status on his 992 GT3. He just got his splitter. He's got the Valkyrie wing. He's got the MCS three ways. He's got headers. He's got uh, 19 inch wheels. He's got supercar three R's. I believe he has PFC brakes, but I don't honestly remember. I think he does. Um, I don't know if he got them from us or not. Doesn't matter. Um, and they're at, uh, I think it's Big Willow is where uh, Global Time Attack or one of the time attacks. Is it GTA that's there this weekend? Or is it one of them? Uh, GTA Finals, I think. Um, there is some Lab Rat swag already um, to answer the question that's up on the chat. Uh, and 
Will's driving the car. Will had a, a great first season in Carrera Cup Sprint uh, this last year. And uh, Will's always been a, a fast driver, and he's driving Amit's car. And it, he's neck and neck with uh, Gabe and Jason, who are in a 991.2 GT3 RS uh, partial lab rat. They have uh, our old style wing. Um, they are missing a splitter. They don't have the intake, but they do have a tune and a couple other tricks up their sleeve on that car. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see what happens this weekend at uh, GTA Finals. Um, so what else for Black Friday? Uh, everything else is 10% off. Um, so uh, including high torque guns, those of you who have been waiting around. Um, not supposed to say that. Lab rat socks. We got to talk to Aaron about socks. I don't know how to make socks. Aaron makes nice socks, though. Lab rat socks? Mm. Everybody's over here shaking their head. Mm. Socks. Everybody loves the woolly bullies. You know, we all got cold feet around here, so not really, but you know what I'm saying. When are we going to bust out the uh, head tattoo merch? Hmm? Head tattoo merch? Mmm. <laughs> totally. We got to we got to build the uh you want us to do lab rap uh wife beaters? Lab rap wife beaters straight out of 1988. <laughs> with the with the slice cut. Yeah, with the Motley Crue slice cut. You know Ed does rock that. What are you talking about? There is no seeing Ed run. Whoa. Only so we're going to do the lab rat undies with your tattoo. We're gonna do we're gonna do boulder holders and and uh, boxers with with the with with the lab rat mousy. I like it with with the mousy rat. <laughs> I don't know. Can we get those from Printful? You think they do boulder holders? They might. They might slangs. Get your slang on. Oh my goodness! What is everyone's plans for Thanksgiving? What are y'all up to? Uh, I'm going to try and go on a mountain bike ride with my buddy Ed for our birthdays. His birthday is on the 24th. My birthday is on the 28th. Uh, we're going to go do some stupid middle-aged man shit and uh, tempt gravity because, you know, that's what you do. You try and fall down a hill on a bike and stay on two wheels. It's fun. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. If you fall down faster than your bike, you did something wrong. You. Generally, the same speed makes the acceleration a little less. Yes, but that's very nerdy of me. I'll I'll move. I'll keep drinking. Um, road Atlanta. You're doing Road Atlanta. Uh, what uh, what track day is it? Ra. We're gonna. I'm super excited. We got a couple days at Road Atlanta next year. Already next year uh, after Smokies, a couple private days, uh, and we're literally gonna ship as many fucking cars as are done to Road Atlanta so that we can go. So, I don't think you heard about this yet. First day is uh, uh, three run groups, 20 cars each. Second second run day is open lapping, 30 cars. Whoa. Not that many fights. No. That's like everybody go not see each other. Yeah. Uh, except for when Seth comes back around and he laps your ass again. So, um, maybe him and Ted. Uh, so, that'll be fun. It might be. It might be now. As often as you run it on the sim, it is your home track. I race there more than any other track in real life, too, but I guess it could be. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. We, we're trying to figure out what we're doing for Dundon's um, uh, Christmas party, aka Christmas gift. I try and get the guy get the guy something every year. Last year it was our it was our full break room coffee stuff with the refrigerator and all that shit. I got all that done end of last year got because we didn't really have a place to go have nice coffee and quite frankly that was as much for me as it was for them i'm not gonna lie i like my nice coffee and luckily a, it's pretty much me justin and ramses like the espresso everybody else just brews coffee and a mr coffee which makes me sigh a little bit but y'all drink what you like to drink I do both. i'm not i ain't gonna i ain't gonna get all up in your business I'm um here for Oh, you don't say. You don't say. Just pick good whiskey next time. Well, sorry. Dang it. <laughs> I was like, really? We're going to get the fucking smoke train? So it was funny. Last night, um, 
uh, Ramses and and Solomon went to a local liquor store specializes in unique and uh, off the beaten trail uh, type things. There are a bunch of uh, al- alcohol nerds, um, and so they went there. And uh, Solomon's like, "Hey, that that campfire! I've heard heard good things about it." And they they show me later what they bought, and I'm like. Fucking A, they got the smoky shit. One, only one. Everything else is great. Everything else is great. And this is after we had a conversation with one of our guys who's new to whiskey. Uh, he's in Europe. And he was saying that he really liked uh, uh, Lagavulin. I might be saying it wrong. That's how I say it. Lagavulin. Lagavulin. Is that how it is? I think that's the latest I've heard. Is it Lagavulin? Lagavulin. That's what I thought. I thought it was Lagavulin. But I wasn't going to emphasize my emphasis on the wrong syllable and make it sound like it was the right thing. So, um, the, uh, uh, smoky whiskey, smoky peaty whiskeys. I, they're just lost on me. It's too much, too much flavor in my face all at the same time. If I wanted a campfire, I like sitting next to a campfire. I don't want to drink a campfire. I like, I like yummy, sweet, uh, spicy, interesting uh, drinks, and and that's different though. And this is and this is why I can't have him as a guest because we will take such left turns. We'll never come back. We'll never we'll never come back to the to the to the right uh, place that we need to be. Um, uh, yes, I agree. Um, Try Balvini Pete Week. It's more subdued. I I actually like uh, Balvini. I like so the the region. I started when I started my whiskey days in Scotch. Uh, so it was uh, Macallan and the Highland, and then I went to like Oban and uh, some of the other uh, more coastal, which is escaping me right now. I thought I was going to impress you guys with the Scotch regions, but it isn't going to happen for me. That's okay. Uh, but I just generally have never liked the Isla scotches. Never liked them. Uh, like any of them. Lagavulin, there's a couple others. Just too too much peat. Too much smoke. Uh, and now I'm all American whiskey. I don't drink scotch anymore. I drink uh, bourbon and rye. And there's enough uh, elegance and interest. Yeah, put the, put the tattoo up. That's great. Um, this is uh, one of our customers. Uh... uh did a lab rat tattoo, which is fantastic. Had a famous tattoo artist whom his name escapes me, but Ed will remember. Um, and that is uh, Ed's tattoo that he has on his calf of a lab rat. A rat doing shit in the lab, just kind of like what we do. So we're going to, we have yet to actually, we did get the artwork, but like most things that kind of com- compound and like wash over me, it never got turned into some some uh lab rat wear so yeah switch it to the big big screen there you go Mm -hmm. pinky in the brain exactly so uh that's that's pretty cool that's the first time we've had uh somebody create a tattoo and want to permanently ink themselves with a dundon logo that's that's a true fucking fan right there. That's a true fan. So, fist bump for you, brother. Fist bump for you. I hope your car's actually done and uh, at the dealer and comes back 100. percent And if not, then fuck it. We'll we'll make it better than 100. percent Um. Let's roll some pictures. What you got up there? Let's look at some 992 shit. 992 shit. Hmm. We could talk about the Manti 992 kit as well, but you guys don't like hearing me bitch so much, so let's just look at some pretty pictures. <laughs> Caleb's like, I like listening to you, bitch. It's fun. Uh, Caleb is working on our cup car uh, last uh, day or so, getting shock potentiometers on it, getting uh, data, race navigator pro, getting all the shit that we're going to need in the spring to really squeeze the juice out of it because it's really fucking fast and it's too fast for ted and i to just kind of wing it at this point um 
and we wing it pretty fucking well. Most of the lab rats have come about from us comparing notes, doing what is fundamentally uh, required for each, um, and uh, making making improvements. Uh, we also have a number of very learned colleagues that we rely on, Mike Kojima, uh, Ryan Neff, um, Daniel Elias, a number of a number of big wigs uh, in. Uh, Josh Woods is the tattoo artist that did came up with the artwork for uh, Mr. Lab Rat. Um, so we we're I was thinking the other night uh, start running through some of the 992 uh, Dundon pictures, Dundon pictures, and then we'll we'll hit that spy shot of the MR, which is curious. Uh, I, I started looking into what what's truly different on the 992 three RS versus what we're doing. Two major points um, uh, as far as the arrow goes. And it's it's all the active stuff. So the rear DRS is is fantastic. It's fantastic. It, it enables the car to cut through the air going down the straights uh, without uh, any drag, uh, any meaningful drag penalty. Um, it's not substantially less drag than our wing so far, which is interesting. Um, the front of the car, they produce downforce slightly differently. So they're using a flap. And since the radiator is in the middle of the car and vents through the hood, they're able to highlight that and they move more of the air through that to generate downforce. Um, and they use flaps where the side radiators would be to act both as air brakes and to allow air to vent through it and also act as a bit of a large uh, a surface area of, of uh, a wing as it goes through the, the, open, the opened flaps, if you will. When they're closed, then <laughs> air stops, car wants to stop, full stop, and then when they open, all the air goes through. Um, what is interesting is I still think there's room for improvement there. So our splitter will go on the front of the 992 3RS and make it better. Our splitter works uh, thanks to uh, our partner Ryan um, at Zebulon. It works like an airfoil. So the bottom of it is curved just like an airfoil. And from that uh, description from that explanation of how that works you get differential pressure just by accelerating the air along that air that curved surface of the of the bottom of the splitter so if we do that then we have to do something to the wing and it'd be interesting um, so there's a good pick good shot of uh, the splitter and you can see it kind of curving up right at the nose you know, you can kind of see that it's it's pointing a little bit towards the sky. It's not a splitter that's just splitting the air. Yeah, there you go. Um, and that curvature is what gives it the uh, the ability to speed up the air, which forces the air to lose pressure. Otherwise, it couldn't accelerate and make it across that longer distance of the curve, just like it works on a wing. Um, and make differential pressure from the front of the, the top side of the car to the bottom of the car because um, that's how aero works. Um, the 992, um, let's go to the picture of the, the Manthe car. Or go to, go to, go to the, the Sportec car first because that's just a really good shot. Yeah, so this is... Uh, from our time at the Nurburgring with Sportec AG, this is uh, what they're calling their Club Sport GT3. Most of what's on there that makes it a Club Sport are our parts, uh, the aero, uh, the PFC brakes, the uh, MCS suspension, um, and you can see it's it's all working in concert together. The car was really good. If, if we would have had cooler weather, oh, if we would only have had cooler weather. Um, but... Uh, that'll be for next time. So, um, 
uh, which Thomas, when you see that, the check is literally in the mail. You'll have it on Monday. So um, for tires and whatnot and services, services rendered. Sometimes you have to pay for services rendered, gentlemen. Sometimes you got to leave cash in your wallet for that shit. So this is interesting, seeing what the uh, the Manti MR, they're experimenting with a keel from a 919 Evo uh, or an LMP uh, uh, 1 or 2 car, which is interesting, um, and a triple element wing. And I, what's curious, and a number of people have brought this up, including uh, Ryan from Zebulon, look at the end plates, and then look at our end plates. Curious. Their end plates look a lot like our end plates. What the fuck? What the fuck, guys? Bottom curvature, trapezoidal shape, got all the right shit. Come on now. If you want to copy us, at least put a Dundon D on it. Not, not thinking that they did, but, you know, it's kind of flattering that they ended up with the same shape from all the work that they did looking at their own homework and then look at our homework and going, oh, that's really cool. Let's use that. Um, nice. <laughs> so Justin wants to put a cardboard fin on our RS as soon as we get it so that we can, you know, shark fin. Shark fin. It's the shark fin RS. I don't know. Is that even legal to do? Aren't you blocking the rear view? I, I suppose not. Surprised they can get away with that with TUV, but they would know better than I would. I would think. Some local Shelton cops can be like, that can't be fucking stock. Pull over. I told you guys about that, right? Will Lemley, years ago, he was driving his, uh, was it a 991.1 GT3 RS? to the ridge through Shelton and he got pulled over by a local PD and hassled that he had illegal aftermarket parts on his completely bone stock car. Really? And he literally had to pull out the owner's manual and show him the picture. Really? He's like, this is, this is what this car looks like. Are you guys, are you being serious? Cops like, it's your lucky day, son. I'm going to let you off with a warning. Uh, thank you office sir the fuck guy so um anywho uh it'll be interesting to see um let me back up when we were getting when i finally broke down and decided i'm going to exercise the one opportunity that i'm going to have to get a 3rs and not have to spend a gazillion dollars doing it to see what Manthe, that Manthe essentially just did the Manthe sauce on the car tells me that it's not as good as every journalist is saying it is out of the box. I am sure it is incredible. I'm not gonna not gonna throw shade on the newest pretty girl in the dance. That that can be fine, but it does let me know that us applying what we do to the car will bear fruit because they've had a longer look at it. They've been able to drive it already. And it means that what we would do to the car will work and improve it. So that means it might hang out for longer than it might have. So uh, get some MCS three ways on it. Maybe we'll talk to uh, the boys there. Um, uh, at MCS, uh, we've already got some some tricks up our sleeve. Uh, we're going to start building all of the MCS dampers here to begin to include some of our secret sauce on the things that we do. Uh, our upper strut mounts, uh, they have more camber. They have more room for bigger tires in them. Uh, we're going to look at compound spring rates different bump stop rubbers. There's a few things that we're going to throw at this car, especially because it is a downforce car right from the start. Um, the other cars, we use uh, MCS as bump rubbers. They've been working well. Uh, we want to expand on this. This is something that I learned from uh, our friend uh, Mike Kojima and his work in Global Time Attack and some of the other uh, large aero uh, endeavors in racing. Uh, we'll call it open 
aerodynamic uh, GT car racing um, that they use to keep the car engaged, uh, have some suspension compliance without just bottoming out, without having no suspension compliance. So, anywho, I have bored all of you to death because there has not been a comment for the entire last 10 minutes that I've been talking. So, um, what do you all want to chat about? Josh Lauren wants to talk to me about being a Shopify marketing expert. He works on Fiverr. Well, I appreciate that, Josh, but uh, we have one of those. We're not interested. Um, ah, Horoboye is joining us next week. Yes, he is. So we'll we'll get you guys introduced to Horoboye next Friday. Um, he can be our special guest. He can tell us about himself because uh, I'll be asking questions that I honestly don't know the answer to, So which that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Um, what other pictures we got? All right. Not doing bad. For an evening, we didn't have much to discuss. What are you guys buying for Black Friday from Dundon Motorsports? T-shirts for 10% off. Greatest deal ever. Not yet. Hold that till December. I saw the Slack convos going back and forth. Oh, I'm almost done blowing you guys up. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm not missing any more comments. We're really this dead. No. Yeah. That's it? Okay. Well, I'm not very engaging tonight. That's fine. I, I'll just go home and cry. Um. <laughs> Over my, over my Anthony's hamburger, my special treat for Fridays. Um, 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 I say um too much on these Fridays. You guys notice that? Yeah. Hey, I'm wondering why, how easy the tuning on Thruways MTS is. I have Olin's TTX. Uh, so that's honestly a great question, and it's one of the big reasons why we use three ways. Uh, and why we use MCS in particular. Every click is distinct, and it has a, every single time you move a dial, it has a noticeable impact on how the car behaves. I'll give you a for instance. So, um, the Ridge, which is our local track, versus Thunder Hill, which is a very different track, both the three mile and the five mile. Uh, Ted and Caleb went down to Thunder Hill, and Thunder Hill has a lot of long sweeping corners. Uh, we have a few sweeping corners, but not not like Thunder Hill, where it essentially the whole track is long sweepers with some chicanes, and then another long sweeper and another chicane, and a long sweeper and another chicane. Um, the ability to make to have a large range in the damper to be able to dial it in for what it is you're looking for out of a car is important. What's also probably even more so critically important is that it's damn close to where you want it when you start. And so that's why we do what we do, and that's get you a package that is dialed in. It's not you're buying a damper, it's you're buying a setup. You're buying the whole thing, the spring rates, the damper settings, the alignment settings, the depending on what arrow you have or don't have yet or are going to get, we get you all dialed in. Ooh, which one? Ooh, good choice. It's delicious. Um, and having MCS being in Atlanta, you're going to Road Atlanta. They're from right there. Um, they, uh, they answer questions. It's one of the reasons we, I was asked recently, why don't you guys use KW? I was like, KW makes a great damper. KW won't answer a question. If you ask a question about why this or that or how do we change this or what's the valving for that, you get crickets. You get crickets. Unless you're Porsche Motorsports, Manti, somebody of billion-dollar clout, you don't get an answer. And that's shitty, but it's their prerogative. They feel like they make that their poop doesn't stink and they don't have to answer questions. Okay, 
good for you. Um, part of the reasons we don't use Olin's TTX is very early on, number five years ago when they first released the 991 GT3 kits, every single one of them I got leaked. I was like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I'm sure they're great in Europe. I'm sure they're great everywhere. I'm sure Olin's makes a quality damper, but none of them that I got uh, worked for us or our customers. So we done. Uh, the MCS have been bulletproof, literally bulletproof. We have not had a single damper have a problem. Um, uh, if there was ever a problem, it was resolved instantly and uh, above and beyond the kind of customer service that we would look for from a supplier that we have partnered with. So nothing but good things to say about MCS. The only thing I wish they would do is give us exclusivity in the Porsche market, but that's probably asking too much. You know, we're, we're just some little guys up in the Northwest. What the fuck do we know? Just built every freaking fast GT car that exists in the land. But again, what do we know? Just, eh, it's fine. It's fine. So hopefully, Chris, that answers your question. If you are interested in more or you want to go for a ride in somebody with MCS three ways that was uh, instrumental in kind of marrying our two companies together, look up Seth Thomas. He is the chief driving instructor for Drivers Club uh, at Road Atlanta. He is often there for 10 days. He has a Guards Red 991.2 GT3 RS, nicest fucking guy you'll ever meet, professional race car driver. Uh, his car has MCS three ways. Um, I think he might be getting them revalved for cup car uh, uh, valving. That's a whole different thing. We would not give you cup car valving. You are not Seth Thomas. You are not that fast. I'm not that fast. Very few are that fast. So the really, really fast guys get special sauce. Uh, Seth's also getting a, a thank you gift, uh, full uh, lab rat level arrow for his 991.2 GT3 RS. All that shit uh, is shipping today, which I am excited for. Um, uh, let me know what we can help you with on your 4RS. At the very least, you need to get yourself some extended tie rods, some sway bar end links, and some upper shock mounts so that you can get all of your kinematics dialed in on the car before you start changing other shit. Because that stuff will stay even as we build up all the rest. So, uh, great question. Got me talking for at least 10 minutes on something. That's good. Um, yeah. She's so pretty. That's pre, pre wheels. That's pre wheels, and brakes. pre wheels and brakes, pre splitter. Yeah, go to the, the splitter. All right. Yeah, we hadn't. Ah, forge lines weren't here yet. Yeah, we were waiting on forge lines. What should I have? What should I have? Nothing, Jamie. That's what you should. No, wrong answer. Let's hide this one. You haven't opened this one yet. What the heck did I drink? <laughs> <laughs> Phillips had too much already. He doesn't remember what the fuck he drank. He took it downstairs. He took it downstairs. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Now she's really pretty. You know what's funny is the the wheel design it was not my favorite when we started. Not my favorite. But they are growing on me. They are growing on me. The five, the five spokes, so. Forge line picks designs that others do not have. And and I can appreciate that because they are trying to differentiate and they're doing their own thing. My, um, love that sound, by the way. Love that sound. Um, uh, I'm kind of a, uh, that is, those are 19 inch, uh, 19 by nine in the front, 19 by 11 in the rear, 265, 305. It is not 100% maxed out because we've got upper mounts in the rear that should allow us to run 325s. We just have not had enough time in the day to get them on the car and check it. Um, 325s in the rear would be probably a 19 by 11 and a half or 11 and three quarter or something custom that we get done with Forge Line. Um, the uh, fronts, I would love to be able to run 285. I don't think we're gonna get there it's a little crowded but if we did some 
some steering rack stoppers or you know something along those lines we might be able to get 285 in the front uh the car stock is 245 295 so even 265 305 is a great great change now forge lines will go over stock brakes 19 inch forge lines will go over stock brakes the caliper to wheel clearance gets really tight Hell, the stock caliper to wheel clearance is really fucking tight. Not enough. Yeah, it, I think it's the same. It's about the same as um, what the stock is. We need that as oh, as yeah. the intro. No, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yep, that's a good idea. We need that as the we're starting Whiskey Friday. Um, I've had that idea for a long time. Just haven't had the opportunity to share it. Um. And then the ice crackling yeah. as it hits it, you know, just like, right, right mic right, right on it. Yeah, bang. Yeah, um, oh, we're going to read this. This is 86% rye, 7% malted barley, 5% wheat, 2% corn, 100 proof. This is going to be even sweeter than the other one with less because uh, the corn. Anyway, um, That's delicious. Caramely and vanilla and yeah, you need to you need to have just a little little bit of this one. That's that's the that's the bomby bomb. That one's got to stick around. Redwood Empire Rocket Top. Get you some. That's really good. This is really good. That's that's delicious. Um. Sometimes more important than the size of the tire is how much the tire is in contact with the ground per unit time you're on track. The way you control that is through aerodynamics and through suspension. So if you're interested to slowly increase the performance of your 4RS or make giant leaps up with your 4RS, hit us up. We'll get you a game plan. We'll get you the most effective things for the budget that you've got right now, and we'll keep, keep it rolling, brother. We'll keep, just keep it rolling. Uh, you're surrounded by a number of folks out there in uh, the East Coast who are friends of Dundon. We've got a lot of quality shops out there to help you out to get things done. Let us know. I feel like I'm having a one-on-one, -on -one, me and Chris here. So it's kind of like we're having a virtual discussion without me being able to see him. But that's all right. Um, what do we got? A little after five. All right, I got, I got five minutes. It's a speed round. Hit me with some questions. I'm going to answer them in as few words as I can. What do we got? None of y'all get to ask me questions because you're going to fucking trip me up. <laughs> Phillip's like, dang it. I was going to ask about the Dakar again. Which car? Dakar. Dakar. Oh, I ain't doing nothing with the Dakar. Why you got a hard on for a safari? Well, you get some of that question about it last week. We they did? We oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Okay, well, that's a classic. That, that's, that's a Lee Keen. That's a that's a keen original. I should have had Sean Grower and uh, Chris Olson on tonight. They're uh, they've been drinking since eleven in the morning in the Dominican Republic. I got some great shots of uh, Sean telling me. I, we're trying to figure out how we're getting cars to the East Coast for for Smokies and for the Road Atlanta Day and all this bit. And I I text Sean, hey man, hope you're doing well. Just checking out what's going on with Ply Car. Maybe there's a, a way we can get thing, get cars over there for for in it, for cheap. Because Seth hit me up. Hey, we're gonna we need some of your Northwest boys to fill up this track day. Blah blah blah. Great. Let me hit Sean up. Sean's like fucking in the DR with with Chris. Drunk. I'm like, Sean, it's 11 a.m., dude. Your time. It's 8 a.m. my time, and you're already drunk. You're gonna have a long day, dude. You're going to have a long day. He's like, it's great. It's great. Seth's chatting with him. Him and Chris are like, put us on Whiskey Friday. We can sell all your shit. I'm like, I bet you can. I bet you can. You better just show up with your credit card and you can buy all the shit because I know you can. But, yeah, it, it's fun to have 
friends in the industry that are enjoying their life and and enjoying the the fruits of their labors which is what we're all doing right we're all just trying to take two nickels make a quarter take that quarter buy something fun rub two nickels make another quarter take that quarter buy something fun that's pretty much life and it's all right it's all right that's wisdom from jamie tug Two nickels, make a quarter. Go buy $200 bottles of whiskey. See if you can show up in the liquor store with a quarter and buy $200 bottles of whiskey. Good luck. With that, gentlemen, we will see you next Friday. We'll see you next Friday. Buy some shit on Whiskey Friday. (laughs) Uh... Only if we power it on Colonel Taylor uh, bourbon. Carrera GT powered uh, by bourbon. The future is now. We can make it happen. We probably can make it happen. (laughs) Can we burn bourbon? Yes. It's alcohol. It's good. Methanol. <laughs> Ethanol. This bombshell vodka, he drank it for like... For a while. Yeah. We good? Good. Cut. Uh, all right, see you guys. See ya.